Hello, this is Chris Crawford with Chris Crawford Knives, and I've had several people ask about my disc grinder, so I thought I'd do just a little video showing some of its features. So this disc grinder is the kind that you would get from True Grit. Uh, it's got the big aluminum anodized table in the base, and I've got a VFD controller for it. And so the VFD controller has forward and reverse. So let's see, let's keep this thing on. So there it is. I have it wired where when it goes forward, it's spinning this way so I do my work on this side and I can also reverse it so now it's spinning this way and so this will be good if like um, like here's a little slip joint pattern if I'm needing to get in you know to certain parts on this side and then I can stop it and reverse it and go to parts on the other side so that's that's the advantage to that now this table I've just got this uh, hand tightened right here of course I would use my Allen wrenches and, and get, it, get it really tight if I were using it. But, um, but anyway, so there's the, you got two bolts on the side like this. And by the way, this, this table is adjustable. So you can adjust it, you know, to any angle that you want. Uh, down to, I think about anywhere between 90, and this being 90 and 45, but you take these off. The table comes off like that. You can see there are a couple of stop pins. The nice thing about these stop pins allows you to put the table on go straight back to 90. So it's pretty good. Um, and so I can take it off. I could use it, you know, use it like this without the table, but I usually use it uh, with the table. So one thing I want to show you is in addition to the, to the, you know, just kind of the standard one, I have the Nelson magnetic disc system and so make sure you can see that there. And so you may not be able to see it in the video, but this disc, this is a hub. This is a magnetic hub spin around this way. And you might can see these little, little places right here. These are magnets that basically hold the face of the hub into place. And so this hub has um, periodically has these little cutouts right here. And what that allows you to do is take a screwdriver, and this is a modified screwdriver. I can put it in there and turn it. See how it separates it like that? I can pull that disc off. And that allows me to have multiple discs with multiple grit paper. So I've got, I've got three right now. So I've got one that's, uh, I don't know, this is probably about an 80, and I think this is about a 320 maybe, and then this one's about a 1,000. And I've got a little shelf, you probably can't see it, but a little shelf up there that I can keep them in. But when I want to change disc, instead of having to uh, take the paper off, or if I want to change grits, having to take the paper off and glue it and put new paper on, uh, I can just pop these things on and off. So. Get it on there. I didn't have that lined up. Let's see. There we go. And I mean, it is like I couldn't just pull it off like that without prying it off. So just prying it just pulls it off a little bit. Then you can get it off. Now, one other thing that's really nice about this grinder is, or really the table, and this is another one of the reasons that I, that I got this is that some grinder tables are just straight across. This wraps around. Now this is really important for, um, well, for, I make slip joints, so it's really important for slip joints because what that allows me to do is get right into that corner just like that. Or if I've got, a, got something where I kind of need to go behind it like this, I can. So I've got that extra bit of support for doing that. Now one last thing also, if you get the True Grit uh, grinder, it's going to come with a modified disc. Now I'm not talking about a tapered disc where it tapers one degree off center, but modified on its edge. Now these um, discs that I got from the Nelson system, you can get the one degree off center, uh, or you can get the flat edge, like the nine degree edge, or the modified edge. And so I bought modified edges. And what that is, if you can see this here, um, the modified edge is, is tapered. So because it's tapered like that, or because it's at an angle, you can get right into, you know, right into the corner. Well, I guess it'd be this way, right into the corner of something, e even past 90 like that. So I can get, if I was wanting to grind, I could even grind past 90 just like that. So that's a quick overview of the disc grinder. I really like it. It's been a great grinder. And um, if you're looking for one, I would recommend it. Thanks.